Afternoon everybody on today's episode of Pinchao's Garage we're gonna mount the subframe the rack and pinion control arms today uh, possibly later today or maybe tomorrow we'll get the um, the brake system and the suspension put on uh, all I'm trying to do right now is get everything mocked up because I need to find all my bolts and find out where everything went uh, I kinda was an idiot and didn't tag a lot of the old stuff um, I should have done that so now I'm paying for it so this is why I'm doing a mock-up so let's get to work because it's been Jail's Garage can see this this is the steering rack and you'll notice there's a flat spot right here that flat spot is proprietary to this car so it only goes on one way that way your steering wheel isn't all freaking wonky when you guys try to put it on um, there you guys go so pull the boot back as you guys can. Mine was torn so and then just if you can clean it up. Take the bolt out. So there's a flat spot right here on this side. So opposite from the bolt that's where the flat spot is. So If it won't go in, you need to pry on the side and uh, give it some um, pry it open so it goes, um, it slides in better. So once you uh, get it in, slide the bolt in place. This bolt and nut lock pretty much the um, the rack, so it won't go out. Uh, the rack itself has a notch on it, so the bolt pretty much locks it in place. So there's no really wrong way to put it in. Once it's in, lock it in place and then get ready to mount your subframe. Uh, I took off the tie rod on this side because it made it easier for me. Um, so next thing, in, the next step is tighten that down uh, nice and snug. And then what you're going to do is get your, ra uh, your rack, probably get a zip tie or something to hold it up like this for you so when you mount the subframe underneath right here down below you push it up and then uh, it'll get into place uh, the subframe like I said we're doing a quick mock-up because we gotta get everything else uh, lined up and I gotta find all my bolts like I said earlier so let's get that going so once you get the steering rack all mounted the next thing is to get the subframe uh, get a jack and then get your subframe underneath on top of the jack with the 2x4. Preferably a nice wide one. And what you're gonna do is get your subframe all nice and lined up in here. Now the sway bar mounts on the back over here, not in the front like on the Mark IVs. So you gotta remember that. Now what you want to do first is kind of like even out the weight, push it over, get it where you wouldn't want it, 
just do a quick I'm gonna jack it up and line it up as best you can. Now what you're gonna not do is put a lot of tension on it. So all you're trying to do is get it all on here where it sits nicely because uh, we gotta line up the holes, the bolt holes here. So now we're missing a bushing on this side because we haven't put it on yet. So we'll get to that in a minute. This is where you got to figure out your lineup because you have a bolt here, a bolt here. Here and there and then there's a couple down below. If you line these up first, the ones in the back will line themselves up. Now, when you have it here at this point, make sure you can get everything I guess kind of square to a point. Not a hundred percent, but kind of want to get it as square as you can. And just keep keep an eye on it. Eyeball everything. Make sure it looks correctly before you start bolting stuff down. Uh, on the steering rack, we had the three bolts here. That was for the actual shift linkage. We no longer are going to use that anymore, so these bolts will no longer be needed. Um, so that's a plus, I guess. <laughs> I might have to look for this rubber boot later down the road to get that cleaned up. I want to replace that, and make that look good. Uh, let's see, but that looks pretty good, I think. So I'm going to get the bolts for this right now and get it all bolted in. I will show you that in just a moment. So we got the four 13 millimeter bolts uh, on for the rack. Make sure you hold it down with the 13 millimeter wrench down below and then torque tighten these down. Just tighten them by down by hand. Don't torque anything down yet. Um, like I said, we're setting everything up because we have to mock everything before we actually can do a full install on this. So a mock up is very, very vital to your guys' success uh, in doing this 1.8T swap on this car. I don't know how many times people just try to put it in and then stuff doesn't line up. Probably because you didn't do a mock-up. Good example, like where this mount is here, your transmission is going to sit there. These lines might be in the way. You might have to bend some lines or make new lines. Little things like that you guys got to pay attention to, okay? Alright, so Underneath the uh, subframe where the sway bar, sway bar goes in, there's two bolts that go on there. These are the wrong ones. The ones that are half the size of this are the ones that go on the sway bar underneath, which I'll show you guys right here. You need to put these on, these right here first, on both sides before you mount the subframe in there. If not, you'll never get the bolts in. Is you got to push down on the uh, sway bar bracket and then line up the hole and then hand thread the bolts and then tighten them down a little bit. Once you do that, the sway bar will be bolted on. The next thing you guys are going to need to do is mount the control arms. So you got a bolt here and a bolt here. The control arms, once they're in, then you can actually bolt into the, uh, the bolt the re subframe rest back into the car. And then we can actually get the subframe, uh, the sway bar mounted in as well. So for the control arms to go in, it is a very tight fit guys. So be careful um, 
it's going to wiggle around a bit because you only have one bolt or two bolts holding the subframe around. So if it's really hard to wiggle in, you know, just kind of shimmy it into place. If not, what I recommend doing, yank it up, take it back out. Uh, and what you want to do is grab some of that silicone grease, uh, or the uh, not the silicone grease, but the uh, bushing grease, and slap it in here, and it'll slide back in nicely. You gotta find that stuff. All right, so I found the grease, like I was saying before. Get some on the on the actual like just bushing on the outside of it. So just let it slide in a little bit nicer, and it also keep it from squeaking. It's a win-win. about you guys but I hate squeaking bushings all right so back to putting these back in oh yeah hundred times better So, once you have them on there, kind of line them up if, as best you can. If you can't do them by hand, get a flathead screwdriver and kind of bend them into place by uh, sliding them around. It's not very hard to do. Um, they're going to be really stiff in here, so definitely um, take your time. I highly recommend that. Just take your time doing this. I got this one in. Everything has to go in by hand. You guys don't know how much I emphasize that. If you guys ever use a ratchet to start a bolt, you're going to strip it and you're going to have to repair stuff that you don't want to repair. So if it goes in, beautiful. If you can get three to four threads in, then you're golden. Grab a fly head like I have a screwdriver and use it to line up your line it up. All right, now same goes to the bottom arm. Since I got that side on going, you'll see here it's a little off. I kind of want to get that as straight as you can. Get your bolt. Now this one's going to be harder because of the fact that it's part of the subframe. So I'll get to that one in a minute, but there we go. go we'll get that one tightened down in a little bit I'm gonna try to get some more threads on that by hand uh, repeat the process on both sides and that way we got the control arms set and then uh, we're gonna start mounting the, uh, the ooh, we can actually start the uh, engine oh no no we gotta start doing the suspension the front suspension will be next and then the uh, engine will go in right afterwards. 
So one thing I just learned, um, you have to make sure the sway bar arm is on top of the co uh, control arm. If not, you're going to take the control arm off again and then put it back on. So quick tip, sway bar on top of the arm and then install the uh, control arm. That way you can actually get it on there correctly. <laughs> All right. Repeat. Like I said, uh, get it in, bolt it in, hand tighten. Don't be trying to freaking torque it in. No, 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 no. Put everything by hand because if not, it won't line up correctly. So once you get the control arms on, you'll see here, uh, got the sway bar uh, bushings in. Um, I still got to pop these out. I just wanted to test fit these and see how they work. Um, so remember to retain the old stuff, the washer bushing and then bushing washer nut combo. That's how it goes. This right here, these bushings have to come out. Uh, more than likely I'm going to have to cut them off. Uh, probably pry them off of here and then cut them off and then insert the new ones. Uh, probably using the press to get them in there. But yeah, we did the same thing on both sides. It's like nice and solid on here. So I'm not torquing anything down. I'm just getting anything nice and snug. Um, since the car is not going to be driven, we're not going to tighten or torque anything down to spec. We just got to see where everything, how everything sits and fits. Because say if you forgot a bolt or you need a bolt, we got to make sure we can find everything you guys need before you actually do your whole installs. Probably doing about 25 30 foot pounds on here. So, a quick recap sway bar bolt, control arm slash subframe, uh, sway bar bolt, control arm, sway uh, subframe. We did all the rack and pinion, all front and back. So everything's nice and snug. Next thing is to mount the ball joints. We're going to show you guys how to do the conversion for the, the calipers and the spindles. I got to clean those guys up today and get them ready for tomorrow and show you guys the rest of that project. But for today, I think... Mounting all this today was a pretty good DIY for you guys. So what we did, I said bottom and then we mounted the steering rack. And everything, that looks pretty good. Um, once we get that all taken care of, we're gonna, we got to get make sure that the uh, engine and transmission line up, uh, bolt that all together. Once that's all bolted together... Get, it, uh, get the brackets on there. We'll show you guys how to do that. Just trying to think what else we need to do. Oh, front suspension. All the bushings and what order they go in. That's it so far. So, we'll give you guys more of an update. But thanks again for watching this episode of Pinch House Garage.